The American Revolution, Part 3, The Final Stages of War. War at sea. The tiny Continental Army could not fight large naval battles, but the Continental Army did sink hundreds of individual British ships. John Paul Jones was a former British outlaw who became an American naval hero. Captain John Paul Jones commanded the victorious USS Bahami Richard, named in honor of, R of Benjamin Franklin. John Paul Jones is famous for telling the British during a naval battle, I have not yet begun to fight. John Paul Jones is considered the founder of the United States Navy. The Bahama Richard, the Bahami Richard versus the Serapis. John Paul Jones' most famous victory was the capture of the British warship the Serapis on September 23, 1779. The British knocked out the heavy, the heaviest weapons on the Bahama Richard. The British set the Bahama Richard on fire. John Paul Jones and his men sailed close to the Serapis, boarded it, and fought hand-to-hand -hand combat. In the end, the British Serapis surrendered to Captain John Paul Jones and his crew. Guerrilla warfare. The Patriots used guerrilla warfare to capture, to catch the British off guard. Bands of Patriot soldiers appeared suddenly, fired their weapons, and then disappeared. This hit and run technique caught the British off guard. Francis Marion was one of the famous guerrilla war fair leaders of the of Eastern South Carolina. Francis Marion was also known as Swamp Fox. He operated out of the swamps of Eastern South Carolina. And he was quick and smart. The Battle of Yorktown. General Charles Cornwallis of the British moved the British forces to Yorktown, Virginia in 1781. George Washington's Continental Army and the French troops surrounded the British and General Cornwallis. British General Cornwallis surrendered on October 19, 1781. After weeks of fighting, the Patriots took 8,000 prisoners, the largest British army in America. The Patriots won the Battle of Yorktown. Hooray! The Battle of Yorktown was the last major battle of the American Revolution. The Treaty of Paris of 1783. The signing of the Treaty of Paris of 1783 officially ended the American Revolutionary War. It took two years to come to a peace agreement. The components of the Treaty of Paris of 1783. Britain recognized the United States as an independent nation. The British promised to withdraw all troops from American territory and agreed to give Americans the right to fish off the coast of Canada. The United States agreed that British merchants could collect on a debt owed by Americans. The United States agreed that property taken from loyalists would be returned to them. The United States territory extended from the Atlantic Ocean west to the Mississippi River and from Canada in the north to Spanish Florida in the south. Also on the Treaty of Paris of 1783, Britain had to give all land in America to the United States. Britain was allowed to keep British Canada. Well, that closes our lesson on the American Revolution. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.